Okay, today we are going to do these wood nails. You're going to need to start with a light brown base with a matte top coat on the top, or this, I've only got like a brain, a brain, nudie brown. We're going to use a Sharpie, just a brown one. You're going to just want to draw lines. all over. No real talent needed here. Then you need to gonna get a flat brush and dab it in some acetone. And then you're just gonna wipe it all over. Bring it down. Back and forth, back and forth. like so, to you submerge it in. We're going to let that dry. And then we're going to go in again. And as you can see, it's going to give us the texture of the wood we need. Don't worry if the lines fade completely, because we're going to build this all up anyway. create this sort of wood effect. I'm going to blow on it. I'm going to do the lines one more time. This time I'm going to be a little bit lighter with the acetone. So I do still want some lines in there. Then what we're going to do, we want to create this knot here. So you're going to get a little bit more acetone on your brush. And we're just going to wipe away at the layers in an oval shape. Like so. And then we're going to add detail to that later. I'm going to want to let that dry for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to matte top coat it. Okay, so now we've matte top coated it. I don't know if you can see the wood effect. Like that. We're going to go in with a mixture of... I don't know if you can see it there. I've got like a... I don't know what you call it. Or almost like a, you can't really see, sort of like a beigey, grey type. And then I have got a grey, which is shadow by the gel bottle. I'm just going to come in. I'm going to create a little bit of detailing going around that knot. All you really need is, you could always do it with a dark brown, to be fair, which would be best. But I don't actually have one. So I went over with a bit of the grey. I'm just going to go in with a tad of the black. Like that. Can you see that? It adds a little bit like a layer because it's able to blend in. Perfect. In the middle, we're just going to add mainly black. Like 
so it doesn't matter if it doesn't even come out black black as long as it just adds the little bit of depth into it then next to it I'm just going to put a little bit of a grey stripe down the side and then going in with me beige just doing a few little lines in there to create sort of like a, a whole effect that it's like deeper than it really is a bit more grey like that adding layers just makes it look more real Okay, now we're going to go in again with our light a grey. And we're going to just go down the side of that knot and then all the way to the tip. Again, down the side, all the way to the tip. Like that. And then just literally do some random lines. So the side of the knot and bring it down. It doesn't even have to go all the way down. You're just trying to make a bark, basically. And you can bring it up and then go back down. Really, you could just do whatever in this bit. It just adds. I don't know why my lights are so rubbish. Not really picking it up. Like that. Before I cure it, I'm just going to use a bit of the grey and just give it some accents just to create a little bit more depth. Like we did in the knot. Again, with the brown, this would have been better, but. Lock down, you work with what you've got. You really don't need to be neat with this either. Perfect. I don't know if we're getting nearer this light you can see it. Then, again before we cure it, I'm just going to add a tad of black, just in a couple of places. Like that, the wiggly, uh, the better. Because you want it to be proper fine. When you're happy with it, pop it in to cure. Okay, so now you're done with all of that, you're just going to quickly matte top coat it again. going to make the uh, leaves. In these leaves I've used acrylic paint um, because I don't really have a good green um, but I've just made a green out of some yellow. I made it out of uh, fern and mustard uh, gel bottle and I'm going to use that because gel is so much easier um, and not everyone has acrylic. So we're just going to do a stripe all the way down and then create the leaves just by pulling it in like that. Just making little... So, so easy when you get the hand of it. I've got this brush. It's just an eBay special, but I bloody love it. 
like that. So you go in, you dot, you bring it down, back down to the line, sort of wiggle it out to give it that uh, depth. There, I do it again, like that. It's not a bad green, that. Again, if your leaves are a funky shape, that's fine. Leaves are. Not all the same. Got a lovely van outside. Sorry about that noise in the background. Like that. Okay, quite happy with that. That's cute. Pop that into cure. This is an added extra step. Just going to go in with a different sort of green. Um, I'm just underlying the leaves. Probably can't see it on the camera, but in real life it looks so cute. And it really does add so simple just going down one side that's all you need and then down one side at the top like that once you've cured that little bit i'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of white just down the other side almost gives it a 3D effect. If you want to leave it as it is, that's fine too. Like that. Then quickly we're just going to do some dots for a flower at the bottom. So do one at the top. You want three and then two, like that. And then with your striper brush, once you've got that off, you're just gonna pull them in to the middle, just to make a quick little daisy. Like that. You need a little bit more paint. Add it in. Like that. you've done that you're going to just pop it in to cure and then just going to add a dot in the middle for the flower flash cure it again and then i've just gone and top coated that and there you have it wooden effect nails with some leaves and a little daisy obviously add as many flowers as you like thanks for watching